it means to me better service for our public. I'm a call taker for the Public Safety Communications Department. And usually when someone calls 911, it's the worst day of their life. So it's my job as a call taker to help them through their time of greatest need. This new direction to consolidate fire and police disciplines, it eliminates the need to transfer a call to another call taker. And it reduces confusion in an already stressful situation. We want to earn the respect and trust of the public. We want them to know that we care, and we want them to know that we're here for them. What does this consolidation mean to you? It means to me better service for our public because the, the person who answers the phone can take care of the call from beginning to end. We don't have to transfer to two or three different people and that gets them help quicker. So I think, I think moving us all into the same room builds camaraderie and more trust with each other. We're all on the same team. I think the cross-training is helping a great deal because we're stepping into each other's shoes and it's, uh, it's making things much better for all of us. The average citizen should care because it's, response time is gonna be quicker for them they'll get help faster. When people call here, I'm not just an operator. You know, I'm, I'm a calm voice on the other end of the phone, and I always want them to hear in my voice how much I care, and that I'm gonna do everything in my power to get them the help that they need as quickly as possible. Do you take these calls home with you? Sometimes I do, but I've been very good at being able to separate work and home but there are sometimes we hear some things that are pretty, pretty horrible. And um, I'm very quick to ask for help when that happens so I can process it and move on. A happy call? A happy call. Well, <laughs> I had one gentleman offer me $10 million to marry him. Is there a memorable call that you feel that you really made a difference? Oh, there's lots of them. But there's one in particular. Um, he was uh, a vet, and he had, just, he had been homeless. And he, um, he had just gotten an apartment. They'd helped him get an apartment. And he called me. He was intoxicated, but he was hungry, and he was crying. And he was begging me for help, but refused to let me know where he was. And so I did research while I kept him on the phone and found out where he lived and got officers to him who got the food bank involved. But months later, he called again, and I got him. And we realized that we had spoken that day on the phone. And he told me I saved his life that day because I got him help when nobody cared about him or he felt like no one cared about him. I'll never forget it. He was just one of my favorite. I just loved him.